Soul Man. Basically, I got the tag DJ Soul Man because when I came off, they had that movie out called Soul Man, which was the white kid that went to school at the all-black college and painted himself and stuff like that. So all my boys around the hood, that's the kind of tag I got because I was the white kid that kind of had the rhythm and had the turntables. And my first set of uh, turntables, I got a mixer for Christmas. And I said, Mom, I want a mixer. And she's like, what's a mixer? And so I took her Radio Shack, because they used to have, you know, like two or three models. They had the regular one with the up fader, and the one with the cross fader, and your little cue buttons, and you'd be like, Ch -ch -ch, you know? She got me the mixer, and I was so stoked, but then I got it, and I was like, now what? How do I do with the mixer? And I'm thinking, okay, now I need to get some turntables. So I couldn't find any turntables, but my neighbor, they were having a garage sale, and they had this little, like, strawberry shortcake, little old school turntable that was like, play 45s on we ripped the top off of it so you could put a 12 inch platter on it then i took the little speaker and i put a red light cable and i ran it to my mixer and that was my first setup and i was off to the races man you put it in neutral and you just chitty, chitty, chitty. i started as a dj and we used to back up a lot of like rappers and stuff and then i was starting getting to the point where i'm like well i want the mic i don't want to feel for it so we started kind of a rap group and then that evolved into a rap rock kind of group that we were signed with interscope called funk junkies and uh, we toured the country, the world for that matter. We did about seven albums with Interscope. And then basically I stopped touring and just kind of got burnt out on making music. And I started getting back into enjoying music. And I saw the new Serato product that they had where you could actually not have to carry crates and not have to carry records. And I was really stoked about that. That's kind of my crew. And then now we, we do soul management, which is basically me. I head it up and I got about 10 different DJs all on the West Coast. We play a lot of the W hotels, a lot of the super lounges nightclubs and Vegas and stuff like that and that's pretty much what we do. If anybody DJ in the old school days they know that you have to get all your homies to carry records because you don't want to do that. Everyone uses Serato and everyone uses some sort or some form if it's not Serato it's Tractor or it's Itch or it's some form of it. I got into it was because I'm an old school DJ but I'm also now a new school DJ. The thing I don't like and I hate the strong words so I want to say hate but I don't like CD players. I just don't I'm not into it, you know? If there's something that's just not real about DJing with CDs, and maybe in Europe it's big, maybe around the world, but at least here where the hip hop culture is so predominant, even in house music, even in rock music, turntables are a hip hop thing. And it was, it's, you know, so the, the actual ruggedness of this is pretty dope because you don't feel like you would have the problems of having a CD player maybe in there, you know? It's got the loop controls on it, which is sick, you know, and you guys, you know, you know, the, the, the bleep thing, uh, the button to censor, I just spin that back and use it, you know, you saw I'm spinning it backwards to like, you know, tweak it out a little bit. That's pretty cool too. The overall feel of the new Mark V7 is actually a trip because it's got, it's hard to see, but it's a mini disc with a slip mat that's actually under it and a platter. So it's got the feel of a real big turntable just shrunk down. And what's funny is a lot of guys are out here on the edge and a lot of guys are in here on the inside. It just kind of depends on what kind of leverage I guess you're trying to get on it. But I find that the control surface is actually pretty good. I've got plenty enough room to work with. On the outside I can get real quick or I can do my standard, you know, just regular standard cuts on it. What's so cool about this product is that you can actually scroll, you can control your files, you can control it, and you can even do it with one. From what I understand, you don't even need two. So if you got, you know, a gig that's real simple, like where you're doing a flyaway gig or you're doing a corporate gig and you don't want to, you want to know that you're going to be able to deliver, this has a great platter feel. The vinyl's very cool. It's got a slip mat feel to it. And I, you know, I would see that if you worked out on this for a couple days, maybe even just two or three hours, you could easily have this technology in grasp. What was funny was, is that I hear a lot of stuff. I hear a lot of guys, oh, you know, when, oh, your files won't transfer or when you go from 1.92 to you know, 1.94, oh, your files will transfer in. I've never had a problem with that with Serato, but I was hesitant with Itch because I thought, oh man, you know, am I gonna have to reload it? And the guy at Guitar Center, when I first talked to him, I said, hey, you know, do we have to load in? He's like, you know, I don't know, you may have to reload all your crates. And I thought, oh man, that's gonna be murderous, you know? So I plugged in, bam, all of it's there. It's all there, everything. Cue points are there, everything the same. Everything, the loop, everything. The only difference between the itch is that your wheels are down low instead of being up high. So they're down low, that took a second to get used to. Your waveform is over to the left instead of being dead center or running, you know, I run mine vertically instead of horizontal, so, you know, it's dead center. And so that, that took a second to get used to it being over on the left, but other than that, it's, everything is pretty cool. You show up like this, this is awesome. I mean, you can rock anywhere from 
20 people at a backyard party all the way up to 20,000 in a festival with this with this product and, and that's the thing that's it just blows me away man you know turntables have oil in them turntables have tone arms turntables have weight there's a lot to them they're actual it's an actual mechanical device it's not a technology device it's something that we've been using for you know a couple hundred years or whatever since they you know invented the phonograph it's a turntable it's a basic thing but the problem i've had when i fly with the turntables is there's oil in them and there's tone arms and there's too much risk and being able to show up and do your product so this would seem like that would be a solution for sure what's up dj soul man from phoenix arizona hollywood california uh check it out you guys can check me out at dj soulman.com s-o-u-l-m-a-n.com or you can check out our site with me and all my boys at soulmgmt.com. Basically, if you need any DJs for any kind of parties, you know what I'm saying? You got a DJ that doesn't want to play the music you want to hear, give us a call. We'll drop that for you for sure. Peace out. Thank you.